guys welcome back to the channel and to another video this video is going to be somewhat different to the rest this video is a discovery prior to machining so we got this cvh engine from a customer he's going to overhaul this engine so the crankshaft must be machined we'll show i'll show you the journals later this engine was he stripped it a while ago and it was in his garage and he feels he wants to to build it up now so he he thought just out of interest it'll be interesting to see how much it is actually out of balance prior to him actually going through the processes of machining the crankshaft and you know buying new pistons and stuff like that so he's got his old pistons and all that other stuff here for me to check how how much is out of balance just out of curiosity and um and somewhat of a learning curve let's just check the engine out quickly okay so here's the components i did say check the engine out this is actually engine components so these are the components this belongs to a 1300 ford cvh engine i'll see if i can insert the picture if car as it is so this is the flywheel obviously it's pressure plate the pulleys in front crankshaft and the conrods these conrods are press fitted into the into the pistons so i don't know if i will go to the extreme as to heat up the pistons push the push the gudgeon pin out to get to the the conrod itself because as everyone knows or those that's that's not of the know the big end must be weighed separately and then the small end must be weighed separately you don't measure you don't weigh the conrad as a whole to balance it so i'm not sure if i want to go through that procedure or if i'll maybe just measure it as a unit you know like put this whole thing on the scale to actually see what this whole thing weighs compared to the rest but i'll still decide whether i'm going to take these things off if i'm going to go through all of that really unnecessary practice but it would be interesting to see how much the conrods out so I just might do that but regardless that's all that this is the crankshaft here's a bit of wear on this crankshaft here here's a i'd say this will probably have to have 10 thou clean up i can feel there's a bit of a roughness there but i mean that's not for me to decide that's for the automotive machinists to decide but i want to put this crankshaft on as is you know on the on the machine to check the balance just with everything else like i said guys this is not the correct way of doing things this is purely an experimental thing to see how much an engine is out of balance prior to you know the machining and stuff like that okay guys so in saying that also um i haven't put this on in this scale on the machine to actually see the if it is unbalanced or not nine of ten times they kind of are out of balance but we'll see and we'll discuss as we go along enjoy the video guys okay so first thing obviously i must set the machine up Take, obviously take the plastic off set the machine up and then uh, switch the computer on and uh, start the process right let's crack on
Okay, so that's uh, basically set here. I'm going to just put the belt on, make sure that's central, and then give it a slow run. Okay. Okay. That's her spinning. I don't... Okay, but first things first, I'm going to remove this crankshaft from the machine. Spray this up black. Okay, so now that the tape is on, I'm going to set the machine up again and uh, obviously put that in stops, get the in stops on, insert the information in the computer and see how much, how unbalanced this crankshaft is. I'll put you on time lapse, I'm not going to show all this measure. Okay, so there you can see everything is set up. I'm gonna just get the eye on the reflector. I'm gonna put in the data, which I'm not going to still show. And, um, well, actually, in hindsight, we're not going to balance this crankshaft as I stated. We're actually gonna see how unbalanced this crankshaft is. Remember, like I told you in the start of this video, we're not going to do any balancing and stuff like that. We just want to see how unbalanced this crankshaft is prior to like going to the machine shop or well, let's say even if it was at the machine shop and um, it wasn't balanced so let's just see right so i put in all the data and it appears like that I just have to okay it and then I'm ready to, to balance the crankshaft. Okay, let's just okay it. So there I'm set on the double plane axis. Okay, let's balance the crankshaft. It was 750. I put the operating speed at 5000, I put the balancing speed at 750. And you can see that's how unbalanced the crankshaft is 5.57 grams at the back here and 5.13 grams in front here so it might seem a little but in balance in terms that is actually quite a bit because when we dynamically balance we try to get less than a half a gram or let's just say less than one gram but less than half a gram i mean that's kind of perfect so this crankshaft as far as dynamic balancing goes is out Okay, so now that we determine that the crankshaft is out of balance, let's slap the flywheel on, the pulleys and stuff on, and stick it on the machine. Okay, so this is the crankshaft now with the flywheel pulley on. The pressure plate is still laying over there. Uh, I don't have the bolts for the pressure plate. Uh, the owner of this engine never brought the bolts yet, so I'm going to balance this without the pressure plate. And I had to make some changes. I'm going to change this program now. So I'm going to stop that and I'm going to start a new, a new program here but I just want to show you that this is the setting that I will use now because you can see this side acts as the pulley, this side acts as the flywheel so I'll be balancing using that setting and you can see the two arrows in the center, the fulcrums, that is obviously the post here so I'll be using that, I'm going to enter the data now capture all this data with this enter start a new line item and um, you can see my previous line item I called it CVH crank I don't know if you can see there so I'll start a new line item, line item and say CVH assembly and I'll 
put that all in using that. Okay, let me just do that quickly. Okay, so I just put in the calibrated putty masses and the degree that I that it was on, and I obviously removed it. With these, with this, um, with the um, flywheel and stuff on, because it's a bigger, heavier item, I brought the balancing speed down to 500. Because the last thing you, the last thing you want to, if this thing is way out of balance, is this thing to start going all over the show on the machine. So that I put it on 500. So let's run this machine real time now and see how much out of balance this thing is. <coughs> Okay, there we go, it's 500. Just stop this. So that's how out of balance the pulley is and the flywheel is to the crankshaft. Now, okay, so with that crankshaft and, and the pulley assembly and flywheel all done, let's concentrate on the pistons. Now, once again, I'm not gonna, like I said in the beginning, I'm not going to take the conrads off although that is the correct way and measure the small end weights and then the big end weights and then measure the piston gadget pin and, and uh, piston rings that's the correct way guys but in my instance like i said in the beginning i'm just going to weigh the whole assembly just to see how out of balance that is and then i'll drop a conclusion at the end of the video to see how unbalanced the complete engine is okay so let's do the piston conrad Gunjit pin assembly and see what that is like. Right, so I brought the assemblies closer and I marked it one, two, three, four for our reference sake. And on the board, I also just put down one, two, three, four for the sake of our experiment. And uh, I'll start weighing it. So let's just put the scale on. Let's grab number two. Stick number two on, and number two weighs 1.135. Put it here, 1.135. Let's take number two off. Okay, let's put number one on. And number one weighs 1 1.095. 1 1.095. Okay, let's take number one off. Let's put number three on. Oops. Okay, number three is on and she weighs 1.095. Oh, that's actually quite cool. Number three, 1.095. And let's do number four. And number four weighs 1.115. You can see there, 1.115. Put this thing off, it needs a charge. 1.115. Okay, so there you can see, guys, the difference in the piston assemblies. Number one is 0 0.195. Number two is 1.135. Number three is 0 0.195. So one and three, actually the same weight. That's actually the same way that's quite cool considering that the bearing and everything and the rings and everything is in so that's actually quite quite cool and you can see two and four they they just on a gram just less than the gram difference uh yeah i'd say more than a gram between each one so they were out of balance so ideally um, you must take the lightest which is 0 0.095 and bring all of these down closest to 0 0.095 so they can all be 0 0.09 ah, 1.095 sorry man i've been saying 0 1.095 you know 1.093 or something like that but like i said the ideal way guys is to is the conrad must be off and you must weigh this end and you weigh that end to see how, how balanced the conrods are and then you weigh the pistol the piston assembly with the gadget pins and stuff that's the the correct way but for experiment's sake you can see how much 
the assembly was out okay guys so that's it in conclusion i suppose one cannot just take it for granted that all your engine components all your internal engine components are balanced because nine to ten times they are not so i hope you enjoyed my experiment just to see how unbalanced a engine could possibly be i've seen cases where they are worse this one is actually not too bad for a standard unbalanced engine so anyway if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell not to miss out on any more videos i'll catch you on the next one cheers for now